back when Sony was talking about the PS4 in 2013, I was getting pretty excited. It was about time we got stuff like background downloading, gameplay recording and streaming, suspending and resuming applications and stuff like that. So I'm going to be focusing on the gameplay recording feature and see how it compares to the AverMedia Live Gamer Portable. So these are the settings that I'm using to record the PS4 with the AverMedia Live Gamer Portable. 1920 by 1080 at 30 megabits, 30 frames per second. Alright, so basically what I'm going to be doing is recording with the capture card and recording with the PS4's uh, share feature at the same time and then playing them back separately so you can see if there is any sort of video difference, like video quality difference and the definite microphone quality difference. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so what I'm really just going to be doing right now is just playing the game, describing kind of what's happened, just talking about random stuff, so you should be able to hear the microphone quality difference. You might be able to see a video quality difference, but there is... Whoa, alright Michael. The way YouTube compresses motion and color and stuff is weird, so you probably won't be able to tell a difference on YouTube whereas I will be able to see certain like stuff in the distance that's more pixelated in the PS4 recorder but in general on YouTube I'm pretty sure you won't be able to tell like that big of a difference but what will make the capture card gameplay seem so much better is the fact that I am using a monumentally better microphone all right so what i'm really just going to be doing right now is just playing the game describing kind of what's happening Hello. just talking about I'm random stuff so you should be able to hear the microphone quality difference like you might be able to see a video quality difference but there totally is oh, all right michael <laughs> the way youtube compresses motion and color and stuff is weird so you probably won't be able to tell a difference on YouTube, whereas I will be able to see certain, like, stuff in the distance that's more pixelated in the PS4 record. But in general, on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to tell, like, that big of a difference, but what will make the capture card gameplay seem so much better is the fact that I am using a monumentally better microphone. Alright, the mic quality was completely just terrible on the PS4, but there really isn't anything I can do about that because if I plug my studio microphone into my PS4, it literally sounds like... Yeah, I, it, I don't know how... I, th I might just put a video clip in just to show you. Alright, so this is what my studio microphone sounds like if you plug it into the PS4. It really doesn't make any sense how uh, Sony could um, fuck this up so bad. It, it's, it sounds like automatic game control is on and it's just awful and I hate it and it sounds like crap. Like, awful, I've tried everything to fix it, but there's only one setting you can change, and that's mic volume. And i have that's as low as you can go right now. So on to the whole, um, conclusion of this video. What I can say is that the PS4's video recording is actually pretty good, but the fact that I can't use my really good microphone kind of ruins it for me so but i will say that the best way to upload footage taken with the ps4's game recorder software thing is to upscale it to 1080p and render it that way because it is at a high enough bit rate i think it was like six and a half to where there would be a little bit of a noticeable improvement if you upscale it to 1080p so thanks for watching and if you have any questions about 
what I did or you want to ask me to do something else kind of like this, then um, go ahead and comment and I'll try to respond. And as for this whole last clip of my desktop just moving around and using my phone and stuff, You've I just needed filler. Some...